Hey guys, this is Shandy. Today I'll be showing you how you can add a PDF in your notes application. This is a feature that is available in iOS 17. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download a free PDF. So to do that, I'm going to find a free website where you can download PDF from. And then I'm just going to select the share button that is on top right and then choose notes. And here it's going to ask you, where do you want to save this to? This is not really a way where you can label it. You just need to go ahead and save and notes is smart enough to automatically name the title. So I went ahead and selected the option of save. Now let's go ahead and open up notes. And here you can see that that title automatically got generated. It's going to take some time. Then it's going to show you some thumbnail of your PDF. So here, if you look on the top left side, you get this little drop down option and there's two options that I want to talk about. The first one is a quick look. When you select quick look, you actually go into the PDF where you can do the markup. You can also do the markup outside of that quick look option. As an example, I can select the pencil, choose a highlighter and then just highlight it like this. You don't necessarily need to go into the quick look to do that. Um, but I just wanted to show you that option real quick anyway. So you select quick look. So it's going to open up the PDF with the thumbnail on the side. And here you can just go crazy, do whatever you want to do, all the markup, and then select the option that says done. And you can see those little drop that you did just show it up here. The other option that I want to talk about is the view us. So here's where you can choose the size of this thumbnail. You can do small, medium, or large. Let's actually go ahead and choose medium just to see how much of a difference that makes it. You have the option of show thumbnail. So if you do that, you can kind of scrub through it really fast and then choose a random page and you can also do hide thumbnail so it kind of gives you that space back another cool feature that i also want to talk about is the ability to link another note into your notes so the way you would do that is you would go and scroll down and find an empty space and you want to just hold down with your finger there and you will get the option of add link Let's go ahead and select the add link. The way this works is it doesn't really give you the drop down of all the notes that you have. But if you type in the title of your note, it actually shows up. So as an example, I'm going to go back to my notes and you can see there's this other note that I have called link me. So that is the title of that note. So I'm going to go back into the JavaScript here and just hold down with my finger, select the add link option. And then I'm just going to start typing link me. And as soon as I type in li, it actually gave me the option of link me. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and then select done. And now there is a, a link that I can select to to access other notes within notes. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and you can see it took me to the other notes. Additionally, you can also add a link to other websites. So let's see how that can be done. I'm just going to hold down again, select the option to add link. And here I'm just going to type in HTTPS colon slash slash www.chinu.in and I'm going to select done and you can just simply click on that link and it will take you to the website. And additionally, you can also click like this. So it gives you a quick preview of what you're going to load. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.